Hey, it's Daniel again, and I am here to talk about the first group of lessons, and these are called fundamentals. Now, remember, this is your student dashboard. This is what you will see as soon as you log in. Uh, let's look at reading real fast. So you can see right here, this is the class dashboard. Uh, it shows, shows the course home, learning plan, scores, references, kind of your recent activities, the amount you've been in this class, and your class progress. All right. So once you get here, you, you want to go to learning plan. And then this is going to really spell out all the resources available in this fundamentals class. And as the name states, fundamentals, it is it is pretty much the basics. You can see right here, it starts with letters and sounds, short vowel, long vowels, with the difference between consonants and vowels, the different syllables and words. And there's also an introduction to reading, the basics of reading. You can see the lessons here, building your reading skills, advancing your reading skills, and then using your reading skills. So hopefully one thing you noticed with me clicking through here is that there's always a pretest and there's always a post test. That's the letters and sounds, but if you see right here, every one of these has a pretest and a post test. So your ideal roadmap would be to do the pretest on every one of these lessons, work through these lessons, and then once you get through the lessons, take the post test and hopefully you'll see an improvement. Uh, let's, let's click on one of these. Let's do basics of reading, click on the pretest. So it's nine questions. Sometimes it'll ask you multiple choice. Sometimes it'll ask you to highlight. And you can see that each question, this is a multiple choice question right here. So once you get done with these nine, you would submit the test, it'll give you a score, and then you would work through these three lessons. Hopefully after working through these three lessons, you would take the post test on the basics of reading. And they usually mirror each other. And hopefully you will see an improvement. And if you work on all four of these, then your reading skills should improve. And if you want to go back, you just click dashboard right up there and it'll take you back to here and you can do fundamentals in writing. Same thing, same dashboard. This introduces you to language, has four lessons and these four lessons, as you see, are broken down into more prefixes, suffixes, the patterns of words and spelling. Building your vocabulary skills, which is a big aspect of reading and writing, is your ability to know as many words as possible. And then your introduction to writing, your sentence skills and your writing skills. And notice how each one has a pretest and a post test. back to the dashboard and math's the same way. Dashboard learning plan begins with just numbers, progresses to fractions, measurement, a little bit of geometry, just an introduction. So I would usually advise people to start here and if it just is too easy for you then obviously you can move on. But the one good thing about Aztec is it's all encompassing. Theoretically, if you start here at Fundamentals and you work all the way through GED prep, you should, you should be familiar and also have some experience all the way from beginner to intermediate to advanced. So hopefully that gives you just a little bit of an idea on Fundamentals and the next video will concentrate on Foundations.